All right, here we go. Sorry, I, I forgot I had to start talking once I talked to this guy because I'm going to cut back in right there. And is this Shark Island like I presumed? It totally is. Wonder why it's called that. Hmm. Tell me, small fry, have you ever been caught in one of those cyclones? The windy eddy cyclones uses those cyclones to fly across the sea instantaneously. Or so I've heard. Could just be a rumor. Boy, if you had that power, you wouldn't have to spend so much time sailing back and forth across the sea all the time. Wouldn't that be nice, Fry? But let me tell you, there's no way he'll give up his power so easily. You, can, you can't get near the guy, so you have to figure out a way to shoot him down from a distance. Don't you have a weapon that can pierce things from a distance? You know, whip, whip. I tell you, you get my point, Fry? Oh, uh, not ringing any bells, dude. Sorry. I wonder if I can shoot him with my cannon, though. I don't know. All things considered, though, these cyclones, they, despite looking really kind of cool, they're not all that deadly, and I'm going to show you that here, apparently. I don't know. Yeah, here we go. And there's that cyclos guy. Foolish creatures who do not fear the gods to end the sea with you. Uh, what? Let the winds let the winds of Cyclos' wrath blow you away! Alright, so before we do anything, uh... Any Nintendo Gallery followers, get out your picto box and take a picture of this guy right pronto. All you need is this cloud like that, basically, and you'll be good. Other than that, we can't really do much here. I guess I could try firing like a bomb at him, but that's not really piercing like the merman's head. Oh, never mind. My cannon's still up. We'll just shoot him when you get up there. Wouldn't that make more sense? And this should just land us at some random island. Or maybe just the lack thereof of an, of an island. Argon, are you alright? My neck doesn't break eat very easily. It would seem that the wind god Cyclos bears some ill will towards humans. As you go forward, it would be wise to try not to get sucked up by any cyclones you see upon the seas. Even though it didn't hurt you at all. Actually, did we have that quarter heart damage before? I don't remember. Why'd you have to drop me at Tingle Island? That's like the worst thing you could have possibly done. Whatever. I guess we're going to Northern Fairy Island first. Uh, or Northern Triangle Island. Actually, you know what, this is perfect, because since I'm at Tingle Island now, I can show this off. Uh, after doing that Knuckle side quest on Outset, Knuckle appears here too! This is perfect. This is the first time I've ever talked to this guy, by the way. Like, ever. Hey, Mr. Fairy! Some outrageous fellow threw this fantabulous Stingo statue into the sea. It is sad to know that there is one on the sea who does not even know the meaning of beauty. <laughs> you are different. Damn straight I am. Alright, got anything else to say? Uh, oh, apparently not. Alright. And, uh, I know this is kind of really, like, soon after the last Nintendo Gallery alert, but here's another one. You can actually take a picture of Knuckle here, and this guy's kind of special because he's the... Actually, I'm going to clear out those flowers. I don't want those ruining the shot for some random reason. But, uh, he's the only character in the entire game that you don't need a picture of for or a pic figurine of to complete to technically complete the Nintendo Gallery, he's totally optional. But uh, be warned that if you get all the other figurines before you get him, then you won't be able to get his figurine. So he's a bit of a special case that way. Bit of a space case too. Okay, so um, cutting back in again here, I'm still at the Tingle Island Square, just because there's one other thing I thought I could do while I'm here. You see that there's, uh, I guess I could show this really quick, there's a, like some, a flock of seagulls just flying over there. There's only like four right now. Sometimes there's more, sometimes. And you can spot these from the island, and if you fly out, I mean sail out to where they are, uh, so this isn't Skyward Sword here, then uh, this will happen, and you get the chance to fight a big Octo. Oh my god, he's got like 12 eyes, wow. Or something similar to that. So I like to use the boomerang on this guy. You can use bombs too. Bombs are more powerful. Like you'll see here, the boomerang, it takes, I think, three hits to take out each eye, but you can like target multiple eyes at once. And sometimes the boomerang even hits ones that you didn't target, like on the way back to you, if that makes sense. Whereas if you use the cannon, then you can take out eyes in one shot, but uh, obviously you can only shoot one eye at a time, and you have to be pretty deadly accurate with the cannon to be able to pull that off. I'm never good with the cannon, so I just do this the easier way. Anyways, um, yeah, so there's only so many of these guys. I think maybe eight on the entirety of the Great Sea. So again, for you Nintendo Gallery uh, fanatics, 
Make sure you get a picture of one of these for your for a, the figurine before you kill all of them, because if you kill all of them, then there's no chance of you getting another one. So, I mean, obviously, all right? Did you stop circling around? I think you're allowed to circle around this guy about three times before he eventually just sucks you up. He should be pretty much dead here, though. I should have taken my own advice now that I think about it and just got a picture of this guy while he's here, but whatever. There we go. Sweet. So was that 12 eyes? Let me see. Oh, I think it was because it was 5 on the front, 5 on the back, and 2 on the sides. So, If my math is right, that doesn't add up to 6. So, Or 4. Yeah, I think these octaves can have, either have 12, 8, or 4 eyes. I think there's only one with 4 eyes, though. Four eyes. All the kids pick on me and call me four eyes. Oh God, Lloyd, we love you. <laughs> All right, here we go. And depending on how many eyes they have, this will either be a heart piece or a silver rupee. I'm not sure which one of the twelve eyes give. I'd imagine they give a heart piece though, because twelve eyes is kind of excessive, don't you think? Yes. Beautiful! That's the fourth piece! So I should have like seven heart containers by now, but there's the sixth one, so that's great. Anyways, uh, now I'm just gonna head east over to Northern Triangle Island, so uh, we'll get that underway. Oh, here's a nice bitch slap from Fortune. It's raining again! And there's another deadly cyclone! How much more crap can happen at once? God, there, yeah, there are, th I think, just uh, in case anyone was wondering, there are three islands in the entirety of the Great Sea that have cyclones at them. One is Shark Island, one is Northern Triangle Island here, and the other is a Mother and Child Isles, which we haven't been to yet. But we will no doubt go there in due time. I think it was actually just uh, northwest of Tingle Island back there, so. Oh, at least the rain stopped. Yeah, go figure, once you get closer to the cyclone, the rain stops. Because meteorology. Anyways, yeah, so this guy will tell us a nifty thing that probably has nothing to do with the island itself. Probably has something to do with, like, an island adjacent to it. Because if there's, like, small islands like this with really nothing to do on them, that's generally what the merman does. But this is Northern Triangle Island. That's all three triangles. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something, Small Fry. The school on that Windfall Island has one gorgeous teacher. I'd slap that ass. But the thing is, the gang of four little hoodlums is always hoodlums is always causing trouble for her. Those little delinquents like to cause all sorts of trouble. They go climbing trees and hiding behind bushes and snatching people up instead of going to school. What a bunch of savages. <laughs> That's a little, kind of a harsh word. Uh, somebody's got to scold those scoundrels and set them straight for the sake of the poor teacher. You hear me, Fry? I'm pretty sure we've already done that. Wait, did we do that? I don't know. We probably. I would have thought that I did that in that whole big orgy of side quests that I did at Windfall a while back, but... Alright, so finally, even though I said, like, I don't have much to do side quest-wise, or I didn't want to do much side quest-wise right now, it certainly took a while to actually get to one of these stupid islands, but here we go. And now we finally get to see the purpose of these weird little Pikmin-ish statues. Urgh. Wandering traveler who seeks the guidepost of the goddesses, place the pearl you hold here. Does this scare you? Boo. Place Din's pearl in the ancient statue's hand. Two pearls remain. God, this one always reminds me of Halloween just because of the frickin' orange glow. And while we're here, we might as well sail into the cyclone too, just for the hell of it. I don't know, I'm weird about that because when I, when I first played this game I was actually like scared to death of these cyclones because I didn't know like any better. I actually don't think I ever got what you get from these cyclones because you do get something from these cyclones we just don't have the means of acquiring it yet. But uh, actually I pro I, I had to have because you have to get that for this. Oh, well, color me stupid. And sometimes you get lucky with this and it just lands you in the perfect spot. Did it, did it work this time? Um, 
Well, there's no islands for a little while, so... Oh, we're right in between the other two. Wow, that's kind of convenient. Something I thought I'd bring up just as I'm getting close to these islands is that, uh... Something kind of cool I've noticed over the time I've played this game is that each of these triangle islands seems to have a little gimmick guarding them. Like, this one has the weird whirlwind things, which are really no threat at all. Uh, the northern triangle island has the cyclone, and it also has a bunch of octorocks around it. And I think that uh, southern triangle island has, I want to say, sea hats around it. I guess we'll see when we go there, though. But here we go with the furor statue. Spring break. God, you look limey. He plays for Warspur on the ancient statue's hands! Victorious fanfare. That's always one of the coolest fanfares ever. It's when you place the stupid pearls. Alright, yeah, we got one more to go, and uh, it's not up his big nose. Since I'm passing through this sector on the way to the next triangle island, I figure I'd just show this, because I actually, the first time we were here at the private oasis, I didn't, uh, I didn't actually get the map fish for it, so I guess we're going to do that this time. No time like the present, right? Oh, wow. The ocean is kind of that weird color of blue, like, between... between... cheery blue and pastel blue. It's so weird. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen the ocean that shade. At least not for an elongated period of time. Yeah, there's some private oasis, though. Enough of my rambling is about color and artisticness. So, tell me, small fry, have you heard of the golden set of triumph forks? Right there! I tell you a chart that shows you where they are in that house. If you want it, you better go in there and, sc and scour the place from floor to ceiling. Really? Well, that would go nicely with my other Triforce chart that I shouldn't have right now, but... Yeah. And another thing I do while I'm here, actually, is I notice there's a... We have a TCT here, Treasure Chart Treasure. So, might as well get that. I mean, if, yeah, if it's a hard piece, then that's awesome. And if, it, and if it's silver rupees, then we got room for it, so... Alright, this should be just about right. Yeah, buddy! I'm so good at that, I tell ya. Don't get too cocky, Star Fox. Let's see. And there's actually one other thing I want to do in the square while we're here. Silver Rupee, I won't complain. Link's so happy about that too, so... Anyways, uh, let me see if I can find this. Yeah, there's a lot more seagulls here this time. I don't know, there were only four last time, I guess they were just weren't... Not as many fish around. Or maybe there's bigger fish to fry here. But regardless, let's get a picture of this guy really quick. Smile for the camera. I, you don't really need, since he's like so big, you don't have to get his full body in or anything. But, uh, yeah, let's do this. I love the sound this guy makes when one of his eyes, like, gets totally dead. He's like, ow! Like, he, he, he actually says ow, if you listen right. It's so weird. The calamari ow. So this is probably just going to be a, another silver rupee for my troubles. You can see the boomerang in the shot there just frozen in time. That's kind of funny. Anyways, let's just cruise on over and hopefully not kibosh this. And that should be just about right. There we go. Man, that one went down quite a ways. It's kind of cool too. Like the longer, the longer that you actually have to like put, like lower your grapple, the longer that that cutscene to pull the chest back up will take. So it's kind of a nice little continuity thing there. Oh, just an orange rupee. Well, I'll take that too. I don't know. Maybe these guys don't give silver rupees at all. But there you go. Now on to Southern Triangle Island. Behold the might of the mighty Sea Hat Battalion. Oh god. God, these guys are so ugly. Good. Look at their big puffy lips. This is ridiculous. God, did you just... Did you, look at them, they're just... Like, what kind of monster of a game designer would design something like that? It looks like it got stung by bees repeatedly and enjoyed it. God. Alright, well, here's the third pearl, so we're about to see something truly epic. I like how this one has a little smirk. Wandering traveler seeks the guidepost of the goddesses. Place the pearl you hold here. How about no? Well, Link. Oh, damn it. We said no. 
place an Irish pool in the ancient t Irish an Irish pool. You hear how I pronounced pearl there? I was so so stupid. Oh hey, you're kinda cute. Yes! I forgot about that. Holy shit. Oh, you cruise fast when you want to, you freaking kingly red lion guy. You didn't rip off the Colosseum. Or the Colossus. You and your bending of the neck. This tower, which the pearls of the gods have caused to appear, is a place that the gods of the ancient world prepared so that they might test the courage of men. Only one who is able to overcome the trials that await here will be acknowledged by the gods to be a true hero. Only in them will that hero be permitted to wield the power to destroy great evil. That's right, the four sword. I no. Argon, that which you must obtain now lies before you. You must believe in your own courage, and wisdom, and power, but not so much power, which has led you to triumph over many hardships, or hard shits, you have faced, and you must triumph once again. You must rise above the trial of the gods. Does my jaw annoy you? Okay. Yeah, so this is it, folks, the Tower of the Gods. Funny thing, I actually thought this was the end of the game on my first run-through of it. But, uh, no, this is far from it, don't you worry. We still got a hell of a lot to do. And, uh, I think that's gonna be it for this video, because I don't really want to tackle a dungeon in this recording session, so I think we're gonna call it that, and leaving on, off on this epic schlong of justice rising from the ocean. Thanks, everyone, for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.